Okay, here we have a few practice problems from converting from degrees to radians and radians to degrees. I'm just going to do the degrees to radians in this case. So recall that 2 pi radians is equivalent or is equal to 360 degrees. And that just again comes from the unit circle, the circle of radius 1. The circumference formula is 2 pi times the radius. Well, the radius of our circle here is 1, so the circumference is going to be 2 pi. So we say the distance around is 2 pi radians. Well, the distance all the way around the circle, if you turn around, that's 360 degrees. So we're getting that 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. If you divide both sides by 2, we get that pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 180. So it says pi over 180 radians is going to be equal to 1 degree. So this is going to be my little conversion formula I'm going to use. Because to convert, I'm just to get, say, 210 degrees, I'm just going to multiply both sides by 210 and reduce to the left side. To get 300 degrees, I'm going to multiply both sides by 300, simplify, etc., etc. So for number 58, if we multiply both sides by 210, well, let's see, 210 divided by 180, we can get rid of a 0. 21 divided by 18, 3 will go into both of those. 3 will go into 21 7 times. 3 will go into um, 18 6 times. So we'll be left with 7 over 6 pi radians. That's going to be the same thing as 210 degrees. And the other examples are going to be the exact same way. So 59, if I multiply both sides by 300, I would have 300 over 180 pi radians equals 300 degrees. Well, again, I could cancel out the, the zeros. 6 will go into both of those. 6 will go into 30 five times. 6 will go into 18 three times. So 5 thirds pi radians will be the same thing as 300 degrees. Two more here. So number 60, if we multiply both sides by negative 315. Forty-five will go into both of those numbers. Let's see, forty-five will go into uh, negative three fifteen seven times. I should say negative seven times. And one eighty divided by um, forty-five will be four. So we have negative seven divided by four. Um, I left my pi out. Sorry about that. Got in a hurry. Definitely need the pi in there. So negative seven over four pi radians. That's going to be equal to negative 315 degrees. Last but not least, 61. If we multiply both sides by negative 500, we'll have negative 500 divided by 180 pi radians. That's going to equal negative 500 degrees. Again, get rid of the zeros. Those are both even, so let's see. We could divide by 2. That'll be negative 25 divided by 9. Pi radians, that's going to be equal to negative 500 degrees. So again, all I'm doing is just multiplying both sides of this equation by whatever degrees I want, and then just simplifying down the, the fraction that I'm left with on the left side. Nothing worse to it than that.